So read me my rights and arrest me. And then I'll go downtown. Otherwise, get the fuck out of here. And I think part of my introversion has allowed me to really study other people. That's for making me come to Mars. You know how much I hate this fucking planet. In 2001, Sharon Stone faced a life-altering challenge when a severe stroke struck at the peak of her acting career. The incident thrust her into a profound health crisis marked by a barrage of debilitating symptoms that included blurred vision, impaired hearing, relentless fatigue, seizures, and diminished motor skills. These symptoms not only disrupted her bustling career, but also deeply affected her personal life, presenting her with hurdles that tested her resilience and strength. Shattered Confidence In 2001, amid the zenith of her career, Sharon Stone was blindsided not only by a life-threatening stroke, but also by profound personal betrayals. At a time when she was most vulnerable, Sharon discovered the devastating truth that nearly $18 million of her savings had mysteriously disappeared. Furthermore, many of her personal possessions had been illicitly transferred to others. This treachery not only compounded her struggles during a critical health crisis, but also drove her to the edge of financial ruin and inflicted severe emotional wounds. Facing these formidable challenges, Sharon harnessed her resolve to undertake significant lifestyle alterations. She abandoned alcohol, adopted a healthier diet, committed to regular exercise, and immersed herself in meditation. Gradually, these changes catalyzed her recovery, enhancing her physical well-being and mental clarity. I had to learn to walk, hear, write, talk, remember, and everything all over again. In her pursuit of spiritual healing, Sharon found solace and guidance in the wisdom of luminaries like the Dalai Lama and Desmond Tutu. Their teachings were instrumental in helping her release bitterness and foster a life marked by happiness and purpose. Amidst her recovery, Sharon encountered further personal upheaval. Her marriage crumbled as her husband left, remarried, and sought custody of their son. These personal betrayals, although immense, were kept out of the public eye by Sharon, who feared judgment and additional scrutiny. My husband divorced me, um, I married his girlfriend, and they sued me for custody of my son. I wasn't strong enough and healthy enough to be in court. At the hospital, Sharon's situation was dire. She was suffering from internal bleeding that severely affected multiple areas, including her back and head. The realization that strokes could affect anyone at any age was a jarring awakening for her. It was as if she was piecing her life back together from scratch. During this vulnerable period, the departure of her husband and the ensuing custody battle over their son only added to her distress, making her situation seem almost insurmountable. Yet, in the midst of these trials, Sharon discovered a profound connection with her inner self, a strength she had not known before. This newfound resilience empowered her to fight for her son and begin the slow process of rebuilding her life. Sharon's challenges extended beyond her health and personal life into her professional realm. Returning to her acting career after nearly seven years was daunting. The industry had evolved and she had to re-establish herself. Yet, her resolve did not waver. Sharon not only returned to acting, but also embraced her role as a mother again by adopting two more children, demonstrating her capacity for love and renewal. Moreover, during her years away from the spotlight, Sharon found a new calling in activism, particularly in the fight against AIDS. Her efforts to raise awareness and funds for the cause added a layer of profound meaning to her life, aiding her in moving forward with a refreshed purpose. Sharon Stone's narrative is not merely a survival story, but a profound journey of transformation. Her ability to rise from the depths of despair 
and reinvent her life illustrates a remarkable testament to human resilience. Through her recovery, she not only reclaimed her health and family, but also discovered a deeper purpose. Passion ignited behind the scenes, Sharon Stone commemorated her 60th birthday on March 10, 2018, a milestone that underscores her vibrant and storied journey both on and off the silver screen. Now, Sharon, you also, you have a big birthday coming up. Are you going to be having a big party? I, well, it's, it's the greatest thing. I'm going to be 60. Uh, and... Beyond her cinematic exploits, Stone's personal life has been equally captivating. Characterized by a series of significant relationships that have encompassed profound connections. Her initial prominent public relationship was with Michael Greenberg, a television producer whom she wed in 1984. Their paths crossed during the production of the TV movie, The Vegas Strip War. Initially, their union seemed filled with promise. However, the pressures of their burgeoning Hollywood careers soon began to strain their marriage. Despite attempts to salvage their relationship, they parted ways in 1987. In 1991, Stone entered into a highly publicized relationship with John F. Kennedy Jr., a relationship that captivated the public's imagination. Introduced by mutual acquaintances, their liaison was both intense and ephemeral, constantly under the scrutiny of the media. Although their relationship was short-lived, the year 1992 saw Stone engage in a fleeting romance with country musician Dwight Yoakam. Their mutual admiration for each other's artistic endeavors drew them together, lasting only a few months. Nonetheless, Stone reflects on their time together with affection. In 1993, Stone's romantic life took another twist when she started dating producer William J. McDonald. Their relationship quickly escalated to an engagement, with McDonald making significant personal sacrifices, including separating from his wife. Unfortunately, their engagement dissolved in 1994, marking a tumultuous phase for Stone. Shortly thereafter, in 1994, Stone found solace in a brief but meaningful relationship with producer Bob Wagner. Their time together was characterized by mutual respect and affection, with the couple enjoying various social events together. Although their relationship was not long-lasting, one of Stone's most profound relationships was with journalist and editor Phil Bronstein, whom she married in 1998. Their marriage was notable, merging the realms of Hollywood and journalism. In 2000, they expanded their family by adopting a son, Rowan Joseph Bronstein. Despite numerous challenges, including Stone's health issues and career pressures, their marriage ended in 2004. In 2005, Stone's life lightened with her connection to Scottish comedian and TV host Craig Ferguson. Their relationship was infused with humor, reflecting their comedic dispositions. Though short-lived, their romance left a lasting impression on both, and they continued to maintain a friendship. The following year, in 2006, Stone was linked romantically to actor Christian Slater. Frequently spotted together at various events, their interaction sparked widespread speculation about a romantic involvement, though it was never officially confirmed. In 2007, Stone engaged in a quieter affair with businessman Chase Rose. Their relationship was markedly more private, characterized by discreet dinners and low-profile outings. However, Stone's romantic escapades did not end there. In 2012, she began dating Argentine model Martin Mika, who was 27 years younger. Their relationship was filled with vibrancy and adventure, frequently seen enjoying luxurious vacations and attending high-profile events together. After about a year, they amicably parted ways. In 2014, Stone was romantically involved with actor David DeLise. This relationship was more relaxed with the couple enjoying simple, low-key outings. Despite its brevity, Stone opted to keep details of their liaison private, 
reflecting her desire to maintain certain personal boundaries. Most recently, in 2018, Stone began a relationship with Italian entrepreneur Angelo Boffa. They debuted as a couple during her 60th birthday celebrations in Miami, where they appeared exceedingly content, filled with learning experiences and personal growth. Each relationship has imparted valuable lessons on love and companionship, shaping her into the person she is today. From beauty to legend, Beginning her career as a model in the late 1970s, Sharon quickly transitioned to the silver screen, making her film debut by 1980. From there, her career soared, establishing her as a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. Over the decades, Stone has garnered four Golden Globe nominations and clinched one, alongside an Academy Award nomination. I forgot to mention Nick Pileggi. I love you for your amazing, talented writings and the great words you gave me. Thank you. In 2018, she looked forward to the release of two new projects, one of which explored themes of love, signaling her continued relevance and versatility in film. At number 10 is the animated feature Ants from 1998. In this film, Stone lends her voice to Princess Bala, a determined royal ant who encounters Z, a worker ant voiced by Woody Allen, who yearns for a different life and swaps places with a soldier ant. What on earth are you doing? You well, actually, to tell you the truth, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of making it up. Really? You know, why does everybody have to dance the same way? You know, that's completely boring. You know, it's, it's monotonous. It's no fun. Ninth on the list is Broken Flowers, 2005, directed by Jim Jarmusch. Stone portrays Laura, one of the ex-lovers of Bill Murray's character, Don Johnston, who revisits his past relationships after receiving a letter hinting he might have a son. This introspective and sometimes melancholic film lasts 106 minutes and holds a 6.7 rating. Eighth is the 1995 Western The Quick and the Dead, where Stone plays Ellen, a resilient gunslinger entering a lethal contest in a bid to face down the town's tyrannical leader. The 107-minute film, rated 6.7, highlights Stone's capability to dominate in traditionally male-centric genres, showcasing her character's grit and determination. You're pretty. You're not. I need a woman. You need a bath. <laughs> Seventh place features The Mighty, 1998, a drama where Stone plays Gwendolyn, mother to Kevin, a boy with a physical disability who befriends another social outcast. Her Golden Globe-nominated performance in this 100-minute film, rated 6.9, adds significant emotional weight. Sixth is... If These Walls Could Talk to 2000, a TV movie presenting interconnected stories about lesbian couples across different eras. Stone's character, Fran, navigates the challenges of family planning with her partner at the dawn of the new millennium. Fifth, in Alpha Dog 2006, a crime drama based on true events, Stone is Olivia Mazursky, the mother of a kidnapped boy a role that she imbues with profound emotional depth. The 118-minute film is intense, rated 7.2. We are in this so deep, and we're so dedicated, and we're so dedicated to this kid and his parents and what happened, and... Fourth is the iconic Total Recall, 1990, a science fiction thriller where Stone plays Laurie, the seemingly loving wife to Arnold Schwarzenegger's character, Douglas Quaid, whose life unravels amid a web of false memories. Third is Stardust Memories, 1980, Woody Allen's comedy drama reflecting a filmmaker's existential crises, where Stone made her initial film appearance. Although a smaller role, it marked the beginning of her illustrious career, setting the stage for her future in Hollywood. Stardust Memories, Stardust right? Memories, and I, I've had the pleasure of working with him many times in my career, and he's, he's such an excellent director. Mm -hmm. He's such a lovely man, and he's been... 
Second place is awarded to The Disaster Artist, 2017, a behind-the-scenes look at the making of the room. Topping the list is Casino, 1995, directed by Martin Scorsese. Stone plays Ginger McKenna, the wife of a casino boss, whose life spirals amidst mob entanglements and personal demons. Each role in her distinguished portfolio underscores her ability to bring complex characters vividly to life, leaving an indelible impact on audiences and the film industry alike. From animated ventures to intense dramas, Stone's career is a testament to her formidable talent and resilience. Her journey stands as an inspiration, proving that through adversity, one can emerge stronger and continue to produce work that resonates deeply with viewers worldwide. A second act for Sharon, Sh Sharon Stone has been absent from the public scene for several years due to a serious illness that nearly cost her her life. Now, she is ready to revive her acting career. She opens the doors of her home, setting the scene for what was once the Montgomery Clift estate, a haunt of Elizabeth Taylor, Natalie Wood, and Robert Wagner, among other legends. Stone has preserved this iconic place. Despite her critical condition and the challenges that followed, Stone's status as an Oscar-nominated actress of the 1990s did little to protect her from the harsh realities of Hollywood, which now viewed her as damaged goods. Feeling isolated, she found it difficult to return to her former form, making her way through vulnerability and the unforgiving nature of the industry. Her recovery period was not limited to physical and professional rehabilitation, but also personal introspection and adaptation to new realities. Stone's journey through recovery and motherhood, especially after her second divorce, highlighted her belief in independence and partnership over traditional roles defined by societal expectations. She had always been taught that a relationship should be based on partnership rather than necessity, a belief that made genuine connections rare but all the more valued. In recent years, Stone has been focused on healing, parenting, and rebuilding her life. Her comeback is channeled through a new project with Steven Soderbergh called Mosaic, a unique interactive whodunit that takes advantage of modern technology to allow viewers to navigate the story through a smartphone app, offering a novel experience unlike anything from the 1990s. Well, the writer, Ed Solomon, who's just so amazing, who you would know from Men in Black and mm. these great big hits, he's Bill such Ted. a great guy. In Mosaic, Stone plays a famous children's book author entangled in a mystery involving multiple suitors, all of whom become suspects when she disappears. The role offered her a fresh perspective on relationships and their complexities, in particular reflecting on how women of her generation were expected to adapt to men, often losing their identities in the process. Stone recently appeared on the red carpet at the Golden Globes, advocating for sexual harassment and gender equality in Hollywood. She highlights the importance of women recognizing their worth and contributions without conforming to male-dominated paradigms. This stance is part of a broader shift in industry dynamics and personal enlightenment about the value of authenticity over conformity. Throughout her career and life, Stone has been a symbol of resilience and transformation. From a glamorous model to an action star alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger in Total Recall, she has constantly reinvented herself. Despite not seeing herself as conventionally attractive or sexy, Stone strategically posed for Playboy to secure her role in Basic Instinct, which became one of the most iconic films of her career. That role, while steeped in sexuality, was not defined by her. Instead, it showcased the complex psychology of her character. Now, as she plots her return to the forefront of Hollywood, Stone isn't just picking up where she left off. She's retooling her career with a wisdom and perspective that only comes from overcoming great challenges. 
she's grateful for the opportunity to continue her career on new terms, embracing the slow and steady path that life has set for her.